Buongiorno, sono Maria Lucia, abito a Sant'Agata di Puglia e oggi faremo la pasta al grano arso, particolarmente le orecchiette. Allora, come vi ho già detto, eh, praticamente mi miscelo il grano arso con la rimacinata. Maria Lucia adds about 150 ml of warm water to the flour mixture. She kneads the dough until it is smooth and springy. Con me collaborerà domenica a fare le orecchiette, che è bravissima. Grano arso means burnt wheat in Italian. It gives a lovely, smoky, nutty flavor to pasta. It should rest for 30 minutes. She makes ropes with the dough. She cuts one piece off and, using an ordinary knife, scrapes it along a pastry board. She then turns it over her thumb to create the pasta. Orecchietti means little ears in Italian. Her friend Domenica helps with making them. They need to make the pasta approximately the same size for cooking. Grano Arso pasta is thanks to poor farm workers in Puglia, who collected the wheat grains after the fields had been burned at harvest time. Nowadays, the wheat is especially toasted. The typical accompaniment to orecchietti in Puglia is cima de rapa, or turnip tops. These greens make small flower heads similar to broccoli. Maria Lucia adds the greens to boiling salted water. While they're cooking, she warms up some olive oil with chili flakes and garlic. She then fries the greens. She uses the vegetable water to cook the orecchietti. She mixes the pasta with the greens and that's it. This pasta is delicious. Axel the dog thinks so too. Buon appetito! Buon appetito a tutti! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of pasta grannies.